Hi guys, my name is Nolo and welcome to BNB's podcast. I'm here with... Hi guys, my name is Liao and yeah, welcome to a podcast BNB where we celebrate our passion for alternative beer and alternative music. Mm-hmm. So today we're going to be giving you guys a beer review of... Mohope Premium Lager. Yeah. Shout out, shout out. I know, I almost forgot the premium part. <laughs> now you got it, now you got it. Straight out of Johannesburg. Mm-hmm. You can't tell from the packaging. I know, right? It's giving me like Lesotho vibes or... Which is where, apparently, I think it's supposed to it be It takes from? its inspiration from the region. Got but you. But it's brewed in Johannesburg. Okay. I mean, for simplicity purposes, mm-hmm. you know, if you want to get a bigger market, yeah. South Africa is the way to go, especially if you're doing lager. Definitely. But yeah, no. So this is what we're going to be reviewing for you guys. Yeah. So I must say that um, the owner did hit us up in the DMs um, because he saw some of our reviews and he was like, hey guys, we'd really appreciate it if you could review Mohope. Um, I'll give you guys a six pack and then just, yeah, put it on the show. Yeah, man. So big shout out to you, uh, Nate. Mm, I was going to say, oh, yeah. let's no, see. Yes, hey. no, he's definitely a senior. <laughs> we should not see this with respect. So, yeah, and that's the one. Oh, Muleli. Yes, Muleli. Pardon, pardon, pardon. Yes. Yeah, no, a uh, big thank you, man. Uh, you really hooked us up. Mm-hmm. And we can't wait. We can't wait. I'm excited. Can't wait. Yeah. So, yeah, he hooked us up with this. Even some merch. Yeah, he did. Coaster. Coaster. Has a story at the back. Yeah. And a bit of a information kind of blurb. Yeah. So it came in a box, yeah, which was cool because usually they come in like a plastic and stuff, yeah, and so on and so forth. So So yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for that. So I'm gonna open it while you do. Yes, housekeeping notes for the audio listeners. As we said, uh, the origin of the beer is Johannesburg. It was founded in 2019, so it's relatively new to the market. No, it's not. That is gonna burst. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's guys. fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so can you imagine what the audio listeners are going through right now? <laughs> they just like, like what just happened? What just happened? Okay. You think that, I mean, yeah, you're not no. gonna edit that out. It is what that's it is. That's fine. Let's just move that closer. So basically, to the audio listeners, apologies. A beer just fell. Thank God it didn't crack. <laughs> Thank God. So yeah, back to the uh, the matter at hand. Housekeeping notes. Origin, Johannesburg, uh, founded in 2019. Uh, the category is a lager, and the style is a pale lager. ABV comes in at five percent, which is definitely a lager. That's lager I'm territory. I'm impressed by the five percent, especially considering it's a pale lager. It? Yeah, no, the pour, the hit. I didn't get to watch. Mm, it's oh, pretty. Like sediment in there. Is it just I'm pretty? also surprised. It's not as clear as I thought it would be mm, for a lager. Interesting. And for a pale lager. Mm. Interesting. So, mm. yeah. Okay, let's do packaging first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. What are we thinking? Um, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? I think it says, like, what it is. You it know? is it what has, it is. Kind of eh? getting this thing that people drink out of. Oh, is this the Is this the thing? Yes, mohobe. Like, on. That's the, okay. So basically, as I was saying, like, so a traditional uh, tool used to drink beer mm-hmm. in African culture. Yes. Kim mm. I think the English will call it a calabash, mm-hmm. but that's mm-hmm. more descriptive of the one you used to handle. Like a yes, bowl. yes. Like yam kumboti. Yes, but yes. that one de- derives from clay. Mm. So mohope one is derived from like dried fruit yes. that they hollow out. Isn't it like kind of king that fruit, not fruit, it's a veggie? Yeah, kind of like butternut. Some, yes, kind of butternut. But the bigger version. Mm. So, the the narrow end almost yes. becomes like the, the like handle. a whole handle yeah and then the the rounded part becomes a the vessel for the drink mm. so that's where it takes its inspiration I from you guys I was just testing Liaho. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a mohopper on the packaging and yeah. there's also hops on the packaging yeah it's just it's pretty much it is what it is like it's a clean green, simple I, design I feel like the green bottle was strategic yes. Um, cause that is like what people would consider premium. Yes. And I was going to mention that actually. Mm, yeah, no, definitely. You, yeah. Cause usually it's brown. Um, I would expect this kind of style lager to be, to be in brown. a brown bottle. So I mean, I'm, I'm impressed that. No, it's smart thought, cause he's trying it to like. Is, it's very smart. Stand out from the I mean, crowd. even the fact that he wrote like premium lager, he didn't just say lager. It yeah. also says a lot, which is great. But it also says craft beer on the, um, yeah. On the coaster. So I always get confused with that. Help me out, right? Is Usually, it? if something is craft, it's yeah. no, it's no, it's not premium. 
And if something is premium, it might have been craft before, but it's yes. not craft anymore. So in, can craft and premium live together? In, ge- in general, like the rule of thumb, for me personally, because like the thing is, they have never really defined what craft is. Mm. So therefore, it's kind of like a marketing tool. But a rule of thumb that I use, it's based on how much volume you can push out. Mm, mm. So the smaller guys are definitely craft mm. because it's sort of like you're working on your craft. Yes. Mostly like small brewery or you're making it out of your you're making it out of your, your garage and so on and so forth. When you go to premium, it's like the perfect example would have been strapped horse. Yeah. They used to be small brown bottle, mostly in like the Western Cape area. Mm. And then once they like went to green bottle mm. and then they started having like, you know, mass distribution across the country. That's when they like sort of stepped into like the premium, premium. range. So basically, okay. it's just making beer. But the rule of thumb I use is just how much volume can you get out. Makes sense. But then this confuses me because it's is not it? well known. Oh yes, that's I think that's why they put craft on this, but then they just call it premium. Premium, like, okay. Because when you see it, let's say uh, in a fridge at like, mm. a shopping center or so on and so forth, you're like premium, okay. Mm. I'll try that. So out. Speaking marketing more than Basically, anything. All these terms. I Remember get when you. we had that draft one mm. and you're like, you're in a bottle? Like, yeah, like draft in a bottle. <laughs> like, yeah, how does that make sense? It doesn't. So it's just, but when people say, oh, I love draft. Mm. They're like, oh, you love draft? Yeah. So if someone says, look, I'm looking for a premium beer. Mm. So, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, okay. But the, it's cool, man. I yeah, like I'm, it. I'm okay with it. Like, I'm not like ecstatic about it, but I Isn't get it. it. Like, yeah, I know the color coordination for me works. Yeah, it does. Gold, green. It also does give a whole premium look. So yeah, Nice bottle cap. Nice and simple. Gold yeah. As well to no, I like that. So, I like that. Are we happy with the? I'm happy with the packaging. Thing? Are you? Yeah. I am, I am, I am. I am. Mm. It's not blowing me away. Yeah, that's what I said. That's why I'm like, mm, it's okay. It's, it's not, not bad. It's not disappointing. No, it's not disappointing. Uh, it's well done. It's not. Well executed. It's sharp. Clean. Mm. So, are we doing taste? Yes. <laughs> you know, when I smelt it for the first time, ne? Is, it, that's what, is that why you wanted to let it's it rest? It's so sear. Is like. It? <laughs> 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 but also, you see now what I was talking about? Yeah. Is it? Okay, let me smell, smell it. Smell it. God damn. That's not lying, dude. Dude, it overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like it might be on purpose because I, give a hope be. and like, it's do you so, get what I mean? Yeah, no. Mogiting. Just it's very like it's giving me traditional beer. Like One straight time. up, dude. And it has like sediment. Oh yes, it does. Holy uh, crap. Sense of that. <laughs> yeah, hold it up. That's what And then I'm 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 ready <sighs> to taste I'm, this. Now. I'm not to be honest, Dave. No, because I wanna like from smell to sediment to... And like, also, the smell always catches us. You know, sometimes it smells yeah. good, then it tastes bad, then it smells bad, it tastes good. Let's, Let's see. Let's see, man. Let's see. Really clear. I can see my fingers. But, okay. This is so different. Oh, this is great. This is good. I've never had a lager yeah. like this. This is good. Like, this is good. Forget that smell. Forget the <laughs> smell, people. Yo. Hey, wait. Mm-mm. I need another sip. From first sip. Mm-mm. You know what's happening? Mm. Oh, Leo. Do you know what it was? That sweetness, no? This it doesn't taste like a lager. What's happening? I eat. But you, this is the you, first time you, I'm literally confused because I was like, dude. That's why I'm like, I'm not upset about mm. it at all. But also, I was expecting a lager, and that's not what I'm getting at all. Do you know what I'm getting? What? Maybe. I can... wish I had this on tap. That was the first thought mm. when I tasted it. I was like, dude, if you are on a proper draft, I can imagine like, because first of all, it's smooth. But I'm so like, I can't, you know when you want to like put, a, like, I want to say it's this. Yes, and but you can't. Do you know why? There's this, um, there's an aftertaste of almost like dried honey. Aftertaste. Not, it's not on the, it's not the front of the palate. It's but very aftertaste. smooth though. Super smooth. But, but it's so weird. It's yeah. Water like, balance I'm very, is great. I'm very like, I think I'm mind fucked because I wasn't <laughs> expecting yes. it. Do you get what I mean? Yes. No, I think this. But what I told you about the smell, smell can betray you. Mm. But this time is a good betrayal. I think good. This is a good betrayal. <laughs> oh man, this is good. How leo? No, no, like no, I was shocked. I wish I was feeling how you're feeling. I'm more okay. confused than anything. Okay, I drink a lot of lager. Yes. And by circumstance, not through choice. Okay. What <laughs> is circ- yes? Because that's all you can it's find. It's so available. Yeah, right? it is. So when you pound lager as often as mm. I do, you get used to it. So when something stands out like this, yes, you're just like, oh, okay. 
Oh, now you're changing the game now. Like, I get you. No, no, no. You, you are. You're switching it up a little bit. It's very different. It doesn't it's, give me lager at all. Do you know what it is? It's properly unique. And that's tough to do amongst yeah, lagers. Yeah, that's very true. There are so many lagers out there. Yeah. To do this unique. But what is it? I, I, I don't know. Can I please read the ingredients? <laughs> because I'm shocked. I wish I knew more about beer. I really did. What do you mean? Like, no, like everybody who like process. bumps into me is like, oh my gosh, I didn't know so much about beer until like, I started watching your podcast. No. Then I'm like, dude, I feel like I don't know a lot about beer or enough. No, I wish I was that guy in the brewery where they taking me like step by step. Like, dude, this is what we do. Dude, this, this guy is lying. This Listen profile. to what it says, ne? Brewed with malted barley, gluten. That's it. Malted barley. What do you mean? That's what you get. Are you excited? No. I don't understand. That's, that's, that's <laughs> it. Thank you for reading that. Honestly. And no, then no. it says hops, water, and yeast. Yes, malted barley. Because of, often, mm. uh, people when they do uh, a lager, they mm. either use malt or barley. Mm. So when you combine it, you get oh, very complex, okay. interesting taste. Yes. That's, I'm like... It's that like, is why. Oh, uh, yo, yo. That is I why. That is why. That's a good trick, man. You that should is learn, so you should good. Learn from this hey, we are learning. We are learning. <laughs> That's a good Even trick. No, no, nah, nah, that was good. That was a good one. But you know what? Mm. You know what my problem is. Mm-hmm. And I, it's it really tastes good. This is gonna sound very bad, now. And fine. I, I don't mean it in a mean way. Open conversation. Man. But I almost want to close my nose. Ah, uh, and is, then is the, smell, the smell is so like off-putting yes, to the you see what uh, I mean? That's why nah, it's so definitely. confusing to me because it doesn't smell good, but also when you put a beer to your face, you, it's the everything. First thing you do smell before you drink, basically. but the taste is so good. So I want to, yeah. But that I'm, I'm not an combo tea kind of girl, so is I'm it? just like that smell Adjo, is really I, overpowering me. Dude, I'm I'm powering it's, through that smell, man. I'm powering right through but that are smell. Are you enjoying the smell though? No. But okay. I'm powering I right I through it. Alone. I know what comes next. Yeah, I'm Sorry. the end of the road type guy, dude. I know what comes next. But it's really good, but now I'm so like, my senses are doing this. You know what I mean? Like, it? because oh, it's like the smell is not so good, but it tastes really good, but it doesn't taste like a lager, but yeah. it's not a bad thing. No, no, it's not. It's, it's just it's like, a unique it's just like, it's a bit it, shocking yeah. for me, but yeah, no, I am mean, I'm impressed. So taste, are we giving them? I say yes. Oh, yes. A yes. smell, not so much. I, I, we don't have a category, no for, category that. for that. Smell, <laughs> but if we did. Yeah. Yeah, no. But taste, no. yes. But yes. taste is definitely yes. It's so different. I'm so like, I, maybe I need to drink a, like a full one and then like get into it. Do you know that whole thing of like, uh, sometimes yeah, you need to like really appreciate That's the beer. That's what the first thing was like, can we get this on tap? Mm. That's but also, apparently, they sell it on tap. Yes. At Capital Craft, okay. I think is one of the places. Yes. That's like popular in Pretoria. I think um, in Jahan, in Hauteng, he has like five locations. Mm, there's one in Soweto as well. Yes. CB- Subogeng? Yes. Subogeng has one as well. I think yeah. there are two liquor stores that sort of like distribute and could deliver to you guys. Mm, so mm. check those out. Yeah. Uh, but that's also, sorry, that's the wrong category. That's yes. now okay, availability. So, okay, let's do this. Yeah. Right. We did appearance. Yes. Happy. happy. Taste. Happy. happy. Let's do availability. Yeah, because we already went into that. This is rare. It's so rare. This is rare. I had never seen it until I got the DM. Oh, really? So, yeah. When? Uh? No, no. I had it once, I think, two oh, years ago. at Capital Craft. Yeah, on tap. Mm. It wasn't this impressive. But also, that's two years ago. But also, I also <laughs> I feel remember. like, as much as it is so good on tap, tap, we all know that tap, like, yeah, it'll step diminishes on it a Nyana, yeah, yeah, the taste. Yeah. Especially if something is bottled like that. Yeah, but I really want to taste it on tap. Really well, then, we must go back. Capital Craft, we're coming yes, for you. Coming. As usual. No, I think they're going to be at the festival as well. At the Capital Craft Festival. Yeah. But that's for June. Now I must wait for June. No, I'm, I'm not, not waiting I'm for June. Me, I'm people. going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not waiting. June. No, it's not happening. I'm not waiting for June. Yeah. I'm going. No, I'll be with you. So, um, so availability is a no, unfortunately, yes. because this is so unique. Like, I feel like more people should try this. Like, if you can get your hands on it, man, just grab it and run. Don't even pay. Ah. Uh, <laughs> don't even just grab it and run. Okay, you'll, please you'll, pay. You'll, you'll settle it please later. Please pay. We you'll don't want. We, later. We're not trying to do any criminal what okay, what's yeah, here. Okay. Pay. Thank you. Uh, but run as fast as you can. Refrigerate it and please enjoy it. Yeah. Basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, commercial equivalent. Oh man, you're blowing loggers out the water with Dude, this one. Dude, I'm just still, lo- I'm still like, you I blow- need to, I'm catching no. my bearings here. Like, <laughs> you're still trying to like realign. Mm. Yeah, no, you're blowing, you're blowing it like out of the I water. I think it's dude. a very, it definitely beats the commercially equivalent yeah. as a lager, hundred like, percent. I don't even feel like you taste like a lager. I feel like you taste like something so super crafty and super like. I think but also the fact that you still have the 
like the ingredients like the still floating it, in like, the beer that says a lot and it's bottled that's mm. so that's impressive mm. no nah, man like you definitely beat the commercial equivalent 100 really percent, which would be job. like the lager like yes casa lager vintu lager nah so oh yeah price that's the that's the final ding, one. Ding ding ding. You know what? Yes, let's yes. let's just be honest here. I found the price out first because usually I ask you. Yes, because I supposed to be an often, but this and I was good. like, yeah, no, it's expensive. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, wait. Tell the ladies and gentlemen, six pack. It's a six pack. Six pack. No, it's sure, sure hundred and twenty rand. That's steep. For a lager. That is steep. I think in longer <laughs> drinking country, that's that's ambitious. Dude, I can handle your different, your unique. No, like, and you're good. <sighs> when I found out the price, I was like. That's ambitious. That's an ambitious price. Like point. that's higher than stouts, higher than IPAs. Like I think this is one of the most expensive beers we've tried, if I'm not mistaken. Let me think back. I mean, okay, so this got revealed to me mm. post shoot. Yes. Is that? The Mad Giant Extra Fresh yes. wasn't so cheap when you put all like the costs blazing. together. I can't no, look. no, no, you did. No, no. Also, you were like 19 rand. I'm like, okay, but what are the crates, yeah, the these, yeah. the they, the they, the they, yeah. the So mm. factoring that, that I think is also up there in terms of like price-wise. Yes, that is expensive. But also, it's a crate. I think the most expensive we had, was it the the IPA yeah, by, I think by, so. by um, the King's Block? Yeah, yeah. Was King, it was right? the King's Block House. 120, 130? Yeah, I think so. But so this is on par with that. Mara, this is a lager. Yeah, as I know. A blockhouse, as no, the IPA. I know, I know, I know. No, it's Because I feel like for me, the higher the price, I need, I get it, I get the justification of this yes. beer, why it's so expensive, because it's yes. so different and it's so unique. Yes. But then don't label it as a lager. No, no, but that's like accurate. You, you can't lie to people. <laughs> and and put I, a, I don't know. <laughs> high price, that's like... No, that you don't do. That's okay. Illegal. I get you, but you, do you understand what I mean, though? Like, I almost want to be like. Ah, uh, I see the aspect you're coming from. So, are you saying uh, if it was something more exotic? Yes, maybe, but it is quite exotic. I mean, if you taste, yeah. guys, like this taste, it doesn't taste like a lager at all. It tastes like well, yeah, higher it's a premium. bitter lager. It's like yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, but 120 is very steep. I'm sorry. Yeah, nah. for me, pricing is a no. Okay, I think so too. I, because like we're a lager drinking country and we consume it so much, mm. we're so well versed on mm. it. This is great. But 120 price point for me is also like a bit too ambitious. Do you remember how much it was on tap at Capital? Ooh. Do you guys remember? Yes, yes, yes. No, yes, yes. It was 30 rands for a 340 and then a half liter was 40 bucks. Okay, that's that makes sense. So I think if you get it on tap, the price like is Like 500 mil is... Yeah. But that's... That, that... <sighs> Yeah. So on tap it's very competitive because like on tap it's like fair mm. fight. But when you get into also everything is priced at that price. Yes. But in the bottle store it's Yo, super competitive. Me, I'm not gonna this price I'll point. rather pay the forty Rand in on yeah, tap. Yeah, for for half liter definitely. Then pay one twenty for a six. Yeah. Okay. But price as is for mm, this price. It's purchase, a no from no. me. Okay, so a recap. So mm-hmm. price we said no. Mm. Taste we said yes. Yes. Availability was a no. no. Uh, bottling and appearance. Yes. yes. And does it be the commercial equivalent? Yes. So How much is that? I forgot to count. Shit, I thought I was you were counting. <laughs> yeah, okay, so <laughs> taste is good. How much is it? Three. So there three we out go. of five. Yay! That's good. That's for someone that's 2019. For something that's so expensive. No, but <laughs> I'm, I'm like thinking stuck on the price. No, the price is no, a bit high, but, but really good. I feel like the more he gets into like more stores and so on and so forth, he can price lower. Yeah. I get you. That makes sense because also the higher the volume. Ah, so we're rooting for you, man. Price is a bit ambitious. Yeah, please. I'll keep finding it on tap. Yeah, for, for rather it's fine. I'll find you on tap. Yeah, mm. but nah, man, you're doing a good product. Uh, please keep it up. Rehip. Hello, um, hand that yes. Day. yes, we do. Uh, so for the beats mm-hmm. section, I wanted to do an artist review. Yes. Ish. Mm. Of. So this beer gets its inspiration from Lesotho, mm. right? I assume that the Lebona is from Lesotho. Yeah. So I wanted to profile an artist also from Lesotho, but that's doing really well, but is not well known. Yes. Hence, alternative artists. So the artist we're going to be reviewing is... Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> no. no, you know why, guys. Eh? Okay. Okay. Yeah, he sent me the link, and I was like, I'm not feeling this music. I'm not this feeling... And it's it. not a bad thing. Everybody has their own taste, right? Yeah. So now when he's just like, Kimang, I'm just like, okay. to be honest, I'm just being honest. I'm just like... Okay. I'm just like so the artist, Kimaren, mm. Lerab. 
So uh, he's a guy from uh, Lesotho. Yeah, he's from Lesotho. Yeah. And he's a singer. He's an actor. What is he? I feel like he's a singer rapper. He also raps a bit. Whatever. So the people who don't know, Horeta is to basically use your uh, mother tongue, basically to sort of reiterate your entire story. Yes. And your entire being. It's almost like poetry. Yes, but that is true to your essence of being mm. and your origins, most importantly. So he does that. Mm. He sings. He raps. Mm. Um, he's an actor. Really? Yes. I didn't know that yes. one. Yes. yes. Yeah. He's an actor. Where has he acted? Uh, he, you know? There was a, shoot, a few short films that he did oh. and they're actually on YouTube. Nice. Very intriguing, actually. I watched both of them. Okay. Very, very intriguing. You also shot a documentary about himself and mm. where he's from mm. and the music that he makes. And he's also a shepherd. I, saw, I heard that because yes. I watched one of his interviews. Oh, yes. The, yeah. yeah. But he also said that like being a shepherd is not... Yeah, it's, it's not a big deal. It's quite common. Yeah, which yeah. is I think it's cool because really I mean, cool. like the fact that he knows the sheep kemang, ekemang. Dude, it's not easy. That's I think not that's an so easy cool. job. I know, but the fact that you can do that is really like it's not an easy job. It's really amazing. But his music, I discovered it through like there was an initiative called Africa Express. Mm-hmm. So the guy that started the Gorillas, mm-hmm. the music, yeah. So he came, he comes to Africa every five years or so, chooses a country, and then works with like. They're unknown artists, and then they produce an album. That's so cool. And then the proceeds go back to those artists themselves. Mm. So I think in 2019, they did one called Egoli. Mm-hmm. And he was one of the musicians that were featured because he was like trying to make his name in Johannesburg. Nice. Yeah, worked with like Moonchild, Sanele was there mm. as well. The Black Jacks, I think, worked on that as well. So that's how that's I impressive. got to Yeah. And since then, I try to follow his career, but he's so elusive. Yeah, he is. Like, his music is really difficult to find. Yeah. But if you do find it, it splits opinion. Yeah. It splits. I'm enjoying Mara, it. it. No. We, okay, let me explain the kind of music that he makes. Maybe yes. that will help. Yes. And also, you guys will obviously will have the links in our um, comments. But I also feel like it's very, it's very super traditional, right? Yes. Like, it's got those like beats, those drums. It's very Lesotho traditional, like hardcore, hardcore traditional. And yeah. then he adds a whole like rap element to it, which is really cool. Excuse me. A bit me? of electro. Yeah. So there's mm. a lot of like modern elements that he adds to it. But for me personally, I just don't enjoy that kind of music, which is uh, not like the fact that I don't. It's not bad. Yeah, it's I don't think it's bad taste. music exactly. Ah, okay. Yeah. So that's why like. When you send me the links and I like, first I watched the interview where they were interviewing him, yes, so yes, I learned yes, a yes. bit about him. And then when he started like his music, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> not for me. Not in a bad way. Yeah, I was like, like, I was, I, was, I remember I was in a coffee shop like listening, and I was like working, and then I was waiting for the song to start. Oh, because you were listening to him talk. Yeah, uh, but he was okay. just like narrator basically the yes. whole time, and I was like waiting for the beat, waiting for the, and it never came. Yes. And I was like, oh. Oh, that's his style of music like but that's not something word. i would like randomly put on and listen yeah. to but you must you guys must make your own judgment yeah who loves it i do and full disclosure the genre is called famu famu yes okay so it's traditional for the sutu people oh yes. i didn't know so that horeta and okay so he sings in sutu in southern sutu mm. which is like part of famu mm. and it also has an accordion Okay. So the accordion instrument was also very, very key to this genre. Mm. So I really appreciate it because I got to learn about a new genre and new style you. of music. And he's doing really well, man. He worked with Major Lazer. Like, oh, nice. So he's doing really, hasn't released an album yet, which is like, so what, he got he, to that level. EP, yes, he, like singles, EPs, mm. features. I checked them out on YouTube. He has a YouTube channel, right? Okay. I saw, saw his interviews and some yeah. of his songs. No videos, videos on it. No, he does have a video. There's this video where he's like yeah. in the outskirts yes. and he said it was really cold. It's not on his channel. His channel is like empty. Okay, so where is that video? Like whoever like produces for him. Oh. Posted for him. Okay. I was like, yeah. But I, I saw the it. video. I just don't know where. Yeah, no. Nah, but it's a cool video. It's YouTube, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. But yeah, guys. Uh, Please check, check it out. out and let us know if you like it. Or if you don't if like you don't, it. That's okay. Yeah, I feel like you just need to find own. out about more. Exactly. All we're doing here is trying to learn more about music and yeah. So yeah. Yeah, are we are we signing off? Let's. So, yeah, act guys. Mrs. A, it's my bad. Yeah, <laughs> Look now. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, good times. Open minds.